Hey, what is up guys? It's Arnek and welcome to this week's video. Finally, I am back here with you guys. I have been extremely busy these last couple of weeks, but this time is over. So let's kick things off with another quick tip, shall we? I'm sure you have been there. You found that one track that is perfect for your project at hand. It's exactly what you were looking for and the quality is top notch. It just needs to be a tiny bit longer or shorter to cover the entire length of your video. Well, have fun with that. That process can be incredibly annoying if you ask me. Until automatic all your remixing in Adobe Audition. What that does and how it works, let's take a look. So here's that track for your clip. Let's play it. I got this one from Epidemic Sound and it is about 6 minutes 40 long. Our video, however, only reaches until here, as you can see. So, what to do? Well, simply right click the track and send it over to Audition. Now, after Audition has loaded up, you need to turn this audio file into a multi track session. To do so, simply right click the track up here and choose Insert to Multi Track and New Multi Track. Name it and put it wherever you want it to have. After that has opened up, go to Properties, find and open the Remix tab and click the button Enable Remix. Now give Audition some time to analyze your song. Depending on your track, it may even take a couple of minutes. Once that is done, all you need to do is to enter your target duration and Audition will automatically adjust the timing of your song. But keep in mind to consider also the white space after the actual audio ends, because that's also obviously part of the audio file. So when Audition is done with the process, you will see these zigzag lines on top of your waveform, which indicates where Audition has actually placed the cuts. So let's listen to how good of a job Adobe has actually done here, shall we? Pretty good to me. So just save it and all the changes will reflect over in Premiere Pro as well. If there is anything you do not like about the result or you just want a little more control about what's happening to the track, you can dive into these advanced settings. But honestly, for the most part, the basic settings really do a decent enough job for me. So I'm not going to dive into that today. Otherwise, prove me wrong. Well, and there you have it. A quick and easy way to, well, semi-automatically adjust any music track to your specific video length. Did you know about this trick and have you been using it before? Let me know in the comments below. It is really great to be back with you guys again. After all this time, it almost feels like I'm starting anew. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know by smashing that like button. Smashing the like button. Yeah. Subscribe if you aren't already and ring that bell for a new video every week. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!